Many of us are working on the same issues. We need to educate folks in ways that will be helpful. We all have the same goal. I was goal. very invigorated by I the event today. I got a lot of information as far as environmental exposures and disparities. I was really moved by the, the engagement of the community in this process. I'm excited to see what can happen tomorrow. Well, I have to say today's meeting is inspiring because what you see here is a greater cross-section of Angelinos than you hardly ever see. You have grassroots community folks who are really motivated to, to, to make a difference and then uh, you also have uh, academic researchers who are experts in the field. Uh, you have public health department staff that are also engaged and this is truly a partnership and that's really what it's going to take to, to address a complex issue like air pollution where uh, action needs to occur at multiple levels. We need to take action at the local level but also at the state and the, the federal levels and we need to educate folks in ways that will be helpful. We don't want to unnecessarily scare them, but at the same time we want them to understand the significance of air pollution and the need to really try to clean up the air in our communities. We're also looking at the local public health system. and uh, Some of you have completed our survey, uh, which looks at the 10 performance areas from monitoring uh, health conditions to actually reporting them, to educating the public, and a number of other uh, factors. Today's sessions were really valuable because we had people from both communities. We had people from the communities themselves, the health departments, community organizations, academics, and we're all sitting at the same tables. We were all talking about issues that were important to us around air quality issues and really trying to brainstorm about how we can make a difference in those communities and really work to do systems change so that the air quality hazards that are affecting low birth weight and cardiovascular disease and, and asthma are all reduced. Yeah, I think the policy challenges are that uh, there are a number of different pollutants, there are a number of different sources of air pollution, and so there are many different things that need to be done all at once, and there's no single regulatory authority. In some areas it's the federal government, other areas the state government, and in other areas uh, the local air quality management districts. I got a lot of information as far as environmental exposures and disparities to uh, health outcomes, so I felt that it was very rewarding for me to be here today. Uh, my name is Marta Cota, I vengo de la Alianza para Niños con Asma in Long Beach, y algo que me llevo muy bueno de esta conferencia es eh, la colaboración que hoy hicimos con las agencias de gobierno y la comunidad. Creo que ese es un punto súper importante cómo vamos a trabajar mejor en una colaboración. Gracias. I'm Judith Lung from the Long Beach Health Department and today I was really inspired to see and hear that many of us are working on the same issues and that we all have the same goals. I'm excited to see what can happen tomorrow when we all put it into action. Well, I learned about a new program that the EPA is starting uh, that has to do with the impact of air pollution on cardiovascular health, which is something I didn't know. And I also learned about the uh, involvement of the community in this effort, which I think is very, very significant and substantial. I'm the president and CEO of St. John's Well Child and Family Centers, which is a network of federally qualified health centers and school-based clinics that provide medical, dental, and mental health services to about 140,000 patient visits a year at 11 sites in South Los Angeles. I think what was potentially new here is I think a lot of people really got it maybe for the first time about the joint problems of cardiovascular disease and low birth weight. We had some excellent presentations that talked about those risks and then people put that together with what they already knew about asthma and I think we'll have a, a really potent group going forward.